Hi everyone, and welcome back, and I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use your Tascam Model 12 in DAW Surface Control mode to control and automate Waveform version 12 free. This, of course, also applies to the professional. First, I'm going to show you how to set it up, and then I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the faders on your Model 12 to control the faders in waveform. I do have a video in regards to Model 12's DOE control mode explaining how to set it up and how it works. I will leave a link in the description and possibly a card. So watch that before you continue because in this video I'm not going to demonstrate uh, how you can actually change it into surface control mode other than simply following up the steps. So if you want to learn more, watch that video first. So let me quickly demonstrate how to go into door control mode from the default audio or mixer mode. Press menu. We scroll down until we see door controller. And click. And then from the list, the most useful one and that works really well with waveform is Studio One, MCU Studio One. So make sure we select that one and then we click down. Some of the others will work, but they are limited and they won't work properly, especially the panning, they will not work correctly. But I found Studio One, MCU is the best choice. And we click yes. Now the Tascam Model 12 is in door controller mode. That means the faders and the pans are controlling your waveform faders and pans and not the channel input. Next, let's set up the MIDI communication between the Model 12 and waveform. For that, we go into settings and from the list, we go down to MIDI devices and here you will see all your MIDI devices that waveform version 12 recognizes but most of them would be disabled. The one that you want to enable is MIDI Out 2. Click to enable it. You can also enable the Model 12 MIDI, and this is the MIDI physical 5-pin DIN connection. So if you are connecting MIDI devices that use the 5-pin DIN, and you want your Model 12 to do the conversion from USB to 5-pin MIDI, that's the one that you need to enable. If you're just using for DO control, you can leave it off, save some resources, and we're also going to enable the MIDI in to Model 12 MIDI input. So now that we have MIDI out and MIDI in enabled, that means Waveform 12 can communicate with your Tascam Model 12. Next, we're going to add control surfaces, and it's right there, control surfaces. We click on that, and from the list, we're going to select Mackey Control Universal. For that one, from the bottom, into Input Device, click, and select MIDI In 2. And for Output, we're going to select MIDI Out 2. Color selection, it's a choice. It doesn't really matter. It just puts a color on the track, showing you that it's being controlled. Red is fine for me. And pretty much that's it for the setup. We are ready to control our project faders, the panning, record enable, solo, as well as mute. So let me open my M12 demo project had previously. If your screen doesn't look this way and you don't see the faders, just click on the top right hand, that sort of eye looking thing, and you can enable and disable all the different parts. So that's all good now. So now, as you can see, I've got some faders there. Let me reach out. Five and six. And we have track five and six right here. And let's watch the faders go up and down as I move the faders. And now five and six as well. So it's fully controlling. And in Tascam Model 12, your effects fader is your master fader. As you can see, I can control the master fader. 
it might take a few seconds for it to come up if it doesn't work for the first time. But once it's uh, locked on and reading, it should be working all the way through. So we can control the faders and we can also control the pans. And I found that using Studio One for MCU in your Tascam Model 12, it works correctly because as the especially for the panning as the pan clicks into the middle the pan is centered as well so as i go all the way and touch the end it's plus one and minus one all the way where if you choose a different mcu like cubase or cakewalk or any of the others it's not it's not comparable and it will it will sort of stop halfway even though your pan physically clicking in the middle and let's uh, see if we can arm for recording five and six as you can see arm for recording and if i arm for recording you can see the led comes on as well five six and three so they all come up and four all work correctly as expected and for mute yep mute for five mute for four and and so on and for solo i press the solo buttons and the solo comes on as well there we go so all of that works and that's pretty much all of the controls you have available in Tascam model 12 plus we've got play and you can see the timeline is moving and i can stop and then i can rewind and the jog wheel as well i can move the timeline with the jog wheel so now we are ready to record automation for our project because the surface control mode for tascam model 12 the faders as well as the pans are not motorized that means if i move the fader here it's not going to reflect on the on the actual unit itself because there's no way of this fader moving in some digital uh, uh, mixes that have flying faders or motorized faders like my um, fader port right there next to sitting there because it's motorized if i move in waveform it will move as well and reflect the same level but because they're not motorized it's not going to reflect that means as i've demonstrated in some other videos in other daws the best option is to write the automation. That means as the song is playing, we can do the automation, do the, all the fader rides and write the automation, then disable writing. And then when it's playing back, then the faders will follow in waveform what we wrote as automation. But of course, your fader is not going to move on the Model 12. So let's give that a try. So let's assume that I want to automate track one and two, the recording, their volume. Now to see it, we can actually go to um, over here, automation, and say show default automation curve on each track. Now we see the blue line. And if you sort of just see what, uh, if you hover over that line, it will mention track one, volume and pan plugin, volume automation and you can also select from here click on the a and you can see what's being oops what's being automated in this case the volume okay so you, there's ways you can uh, view and hide those tracks and to write automation in waveform as we are playing the track and listening is just click this button here if you don't know what buttons are and do you can always look at the top here where my cursor is top right corner there's a hint there it says automation write mode so we click on that now it's ready to write automation on all the tracks so let's start playing and as i move the faders it will write the automation So I'm just randomly moving the faders and 
because that's the ones that we are automating at the moment. Of course, you can do automate all the other um, faders as well. And now that we've done our mixing, and we can see all the automation that's been written on each of the tracks. And if we rewind and play back, we're going to see the faders move. So, as I mentioned, the advantage of using a surface control unit like this one, the Tascam Model 12, it allows you to control multiple channels at the same time rather than using the mouse single track at a time. And once we finished automation writing, we can click and stop recording it. And to play it back, of course, you can enable it using this button. So if we rewind back and disable playback automation, and if we play it, as you can see, no automation is happening. And we can stop, rewind, and turn the automation on and play back again. Again, I'm using the transport control on the, uh, model 12. And we can see how the automation is moving again. Just a couple of final notes in regards to using your Tascam Model 12 in DAW mode is that none of the inputs are, are active into the channels, even though you can still record, but they're not active because the faders and the pans are controlling waveform um, faders and pans. And the output from your waveform, your master channel output, will go to channel 1 and 2, and they are hard panned left and right. So these faders, because you are controlling the faders on your project, they are set to 0 dB. So your music will be coming into channel 1 and 2. That means you, can, you need to set the merge switches to um, PC so you can hear it, and they will automatically switch to left and right and uh, faders at 0 dB. And then you can use your main fader to control the volume that's going to your speakers. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Now you know how to use your Tascam Model 12 in DO controller mode with Waveform version 12 free, as well as the Pro Edition, um, of course. And if this video was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.